So you said you want to meet with me today? Yes. I am going to grad school in film. No. I don't think that's a good idea. Yes. I am going to be a college professor. Do you see where I am teaching? We're in the middle of nowhere in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Do you want to move to the middle of nowhere to teach? I got an A on my Hugo paper. I have brilliant thoughts about film and critical theory. In all of film? What field do you intend to specialize in? All of it. I'm going to be a college professor. I'm going to write smart things about film and power, rhizomes, politics, and history of information technology in the gendered body. Do you know how many admissions committees are going to laugh at your application? You can't specialize in broad themes that your friends on Facebook think are interesting. I got an A on my Hitchcock paper. I will write about him in my dissertation. And pornography and Foucault and Deleuze. What will you do after you spend seven to nine years of your life wasting away in a library trying to say something original about Hitchcock and French critical theory? I am going to be a college professor. You do know that less than half of people in PhDs finish, and only half of people that finish get a tenure track position? You will probably end up as an adjunct, getting paid less than many of the secretaries and janitors in the school. You are better off being an auto mechanic. I will work hard. No health benefits. Money is not important to me. Oh my god. Who let you into this school? I'm tempted to throw you out of my office that I share with four other professors. I like collaborative learning. How are you going to pay for grad school? I will be a TA. And they will give me free tuition. A TA is slave labor for the university. You will teach 80 kids in one semester for one quarter of the price they need to pay a professor. You will qualify for food stamps and only eat tuna, mac and cheese, and vodka from Albertsons. I will inspire students to think critically about media. The only thing students will think critically about is how to lie to you about why they didn't complete their papers on time for your class. If you are lucky you will find some students that have plagiarized, and you will be able to fail them after doing a lot of administrative paperwork. But that is sort of fun, to watch them cry. I will work hard. My students will respect me. I do not respect you. You are such an idiot that I want to write idiot on your forehead with a Sharpie marker. I need a letter of recommendation from you. You gotta see in my class. My letter needs to be well written and tell great things about my potential as a scholar of film. This is the first time you have ever talked to me. Ever. You have not said a word in my class. It is important that I go to USC. They had Leonard Maltin. Leonard Maltin is not an academic. He just plays movies for unmotivated, rich and spoiled students. He is a joke. The students call his class call it movie night with Uncle Leonard. Leonard Maltin informs much of my own scholarship. You cannot seriously be this stupid. I am a motivated person who loves to learn. I am going to be a college professor. Do you want to stay single the rest of your life? Who in the world, do you think, will be willing to follow you to Saskatoon, so you can teach a movie for dummies at the Saskatchewan Institute of Applied Science and Technology? Being a college professor will give me the flexible schedule that best suits my personality. No. Being a college professor means you will work on average 65 hours a week trying to publish an obscure article that no one cares about in a scholarly journal that about 50 people read, just so you can put it on your CV. You will serve on five to six committees at your school, where you will discuss just how much of your salary the administrators believe you can do without, and how many more classes they believe you can teach, so they can increase the millionaire salary of the football coach. It's just a crappy job, and it sucks. I love Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. I want to write a biopolitical and rhizomatic study of Vertigo. I want to devote my life to Hitchcock, and the study of pornography and Deleuze. Oh my god. You are an idiot. You will soon discover that your life has been a complete waste and that will be confirmed to you when a student like you walks into your office asking you for a recommendation. So will you write me a recommendation? Yes. Give me the forms. I will have it for you by Monday. Thank you. I find you as inspiring as Foucault. Please get the frack out of my office before I have you drawn and quartered. I love that section of discipline and punish.